Hi everyone, I'm Shauna Yao, CEO and your marketing mastermind at TotalGenius.net. And today I wanted to ask you, have you defined success for yourself yet? Have you made a definition, like I'm talking like a written one, about what you actually want to achieve in your business? I want to today talk about uh, what I'm going to call the biology of disbelief. So if you've read Bruce Lipton, he, he, he wrote a book called The Biology of Belief. I'm going to talk about the biology of disbelief and how you can actually uh, do one thing that is actually quite simple, but you probably have never really thought about it in order to have the success that you want in order to make the money you want to make, do the things you want to do, and have a business that makes you feel inspired and that you love. So if you haven't watched my videos before uh, or, or really understood what I do, I help people understand the story that, uh, that in your personal story, Building your business based off of your life experience, your challenges, and really how you help people. Because I know that in the end, if you have a business, you really do want to help people. Or you're just, you know, you want to cheat people out of their money. But that's probably not you if you're watching this. So today I wanted to talk about the biology of disbelief. So it starts with the story that you tell, the story that you actually have told yourself about your life and, uh, and now that you have a business about what it's going to take for you to create the success that you want. So, you know, the reason why I wanted to do this video was uh, I find or what I've really found over the course of the past couple years that I've had a business is that a lot of people are struggling to make money. So I don't know if you can relate to this, but it seems like a lot of people, uh, at least the ones that I'm speaking to, are, are possibly making money, but they're not making a consistent income. Um, they get caught up in a lot of other people's stories. And the one thing that I always hear is, you have to be on Facebook, to get clients. So whether or not that's true or not, I'm not going to, uh, to agree or deny that, but uh, the story that you tell yourself about your business and about how you're gonna achieve success is actually uh, the story that you tell yourself. And some of it is by choice and some of it may just be a lot of unconscious learning. So in the beginning of this video, I asked you, what is your definition of success? Really, seriously, because I know that when, when I started my business, I just wanted to, I just wanted to have a business where I made money and did something that I knew that I was good at, that I could enjoy. And I really, I didn't know about these random numbers like make a million dollars and make 10K and, uh, and all of these different things. In fact, I didn't really know a lot about the whole coaching industry and I always thought of it as like this secret underground society that lived on Facebook in all of these really um, random groups. You know, I come from the corporate environment uh, where and kind of, you know, when I, uh, when I last had my corporate job, it was in 2009. So Facebook, hard to believe, and, uh, and the internet was really starting to catch on, at least on, on the um, business side. So I wasn't really aware of all of that, which actually turned out to be quite a benefit to me. So when I first started my business, I really didn't... Uh, I, I didn't understand that, that whole industry and I, I took a course that I found um, from searching Google and it actually, it was so, you know, 
it was just so kind of random of the bunches of things that this person who uh, I don't know that she'd ever had a real job uh, was teaching that everyone that left that um, actually had to hire a coach after that's a that's a different story so but I had defined what success was to me that I wanted to uh, have a business make money like the businesses that I knew you know you make a consistent income and you do what you do best and that's in, in essence what a business is it's like a job except for you have control of your own time and your own freedom of creativity then over the past couple years and it really wasn't until very recently uh, that all of these people started coming out of the woodwork and talking about how they weren't making an income and or how they weren't making a consistent income and how they were struggling uh, that I really started to to identify what that problem was because then I looked at myself and a lot of the things that were happening in my own mind um, you know I, I had lost some of the initial confidence that I had when I had started my business and uh, and the clarity in my mind about what I really did best what I wanted from my business and uh, and really what success was to me so about 18 days ago I just left Facebook <laughs> I just decided that uh, whether or not I had a business I just didn't want to be uh, I didn't want to feel like I was feeling not due to Facebook's fault or you know I'm not blaming anyone but myself really and I had decided at that point that I wasn't going to come back until I wanted to come back until I had something to share and uh, and I did a lot of not even like self-discovery but more like freeing my mind of everything that I had picked up over these past couple years uh, because you know I again like, like I was saying in the beginning I knew my path I knew what success was to me and uh, and I knew that what was going on in my mind 18 days ago was not uh, was not any of that and I thought where did I go <laughs> what happened to me and doing what I do in my business helping my clients uh, what I really do is I, I call myself a key maker in fact I have a necklace that is a key because when I started my business I was looking for a key maker I wasn't looking for somebody to teach me a bunch of webinars and tactics and things like that I was looking for somebody to unlock the key to my head which was really you know to unlock my own self-confidence in my own story and my own expertise and that's what actually what I help my clients with because and that's actually what I see going on um, if you're not making a consistent income if you find yourself in in a lot of doubt is that you don't understand your story correctly and it's not about learning more as the title of this uh, video says is the biology of disbelief over time you pick up all these random things our brains are problem-solving machines so every time that that you see a problem your brain automatically wants to to solve it so I'm sure that you've seen people post on Facebook and you automatically if you can answer it you want to help which is great because you know you're altruistic you want to help other people but what ends up happening is that over time uh, you pick up all these things and our brains are problem-solving machines so what our brains are trained to do is to get rid of information like it does it by elimination because it can only hold so much so it literally eliminates things from your mind so that you can go and attack the problem at hand which means that you know uh, sign up for the free class do this thing uh, you need this this will be the answer to your problem and all of that is coming at you lightning speed because you know it's at your fingertips and every time you open Facebook or any social media uh, thing that is 
you're picking up new beliefs. And some of those may be good, but a lot of them may be good, but you may not need them. And what ends up happening is that, at least this is, this is, my, this is my belief, and what I saw happening to me was that you actually lose um, the, the person that you know to be true that you are. Um, and that person who, you know, learned those lessons and did those things and had that expertise um, kind of just gets blended in with all this new information and trying to solve problems. And, you know, trying to solve problems, our stupid thinking brain, you know, the one that judges you, but the one that also learns new information, sucks up a lot of energy. And so if your brain is focused on trying to solve all these problems, how am I going to do this? You know, I got to do my social media. I have to like get this stuff out. And you're so focused on that, that you may lose focus on um, the fact that uh, no one's going to pay you so that you can make money. <laughs> no one's going to pay you because you're doing your social media. In fact, people are going to pay you when you show the value that you actually are because that's what I call your genius. That's what you know best. And so the title of the video is The Biology of Disbelief because all of this overlearning, some of it, as I said, may be good. And yes, you need a container to put your creative ideas. You need a system that that flows, but not the system that has everything that you have to do. The system that works for you, that will get your genius out to the world in a way that feels good to you, translates your value, and is understood by another person. I'm not going to tell you what that system is because for everybody, it's different. But what I am going to tell you is that you need to understand your definition of success. Not that I'm going to make $100,000, $10,000, $20,000, $50,000, $100,000 a month, $1 million. I want you to, to have a definition of success based on what you believe. In fact, I would challenge you and I would love to see your posts under here if you could write a manifesto to yourself. Maybe it's something you could share with your clients. That is what you believe success is for you and for the people that you serve based on your beliefs, your personal values, and what it is the value that you want to deliver to them. Like, what do you want for your clients? Those things are what make, will make you successful. Those things actually will trump any webinar, any email list, anything. Because when you understand that, that's all you need. Then you want to shout it from the rooftops. Because that's what I did over these past 18 days that, that I uh, was uncovering all my <laughs> beliefs that I had learned and just really discovering, rediscovering who I am and what I, I loved. Is I, I said that I wasn't going to come back to Facebook until I, I had something to share. Until I was so excited, it was like brimming out of me. And I found it. And I'm not saying you have to go off Facebook because I do think Facebook is a very important tool to stay connected. And how you use it is really up to you. But when you understand your mission, your personal blueprint of what I call your money code, when you write your manifesto and you really strongly, so firmly believe it to be true, and then you have that container that works for you to get it out to the world, 
then nothing's going to stop you from making what you want, doing what you want. Because success is not found in the achievement. It's found in working towards the achievement, doing the things every single day that make you step up to your highest self. I'm telling you that all those times that you spend uh, beating yourself in the, up in the head or like trying to struggle, trying to learn something, I want you to ask yourself, um, is this true? Do I really need to learn this? Is, is this something that, that is uh, bringing me closer to my goal, closer to my definition of success? Or is this some other, one, other person's definition of success or achievement that they've achieved and maybe it's their success, but is it mine? Those are like questions that I want you to ask yourself because just in general, if you want to break it down to like a marketing speak, it's not how you are the same as other people that's going to create your success. It's how different you are. So even if you look at somebody who is like a role model to you, your goal is not to copy them. Your goal is to say they're great and someday, you know, I'd like to have a business that, you know, was successful like that. And now, how am I different? What am I successful at that I can do just as well? It's really important to remember that just because you think it doesn't mean only you think it. Other people think it too. And while success is a delayed reaction, so while you may put it out there and you're like waiting and waiting, it's a moving system. So you have to remember to just keep moving. If you feel good about it and if it brings you happiness, then it is your ticket to success. Because remember I said success is in the doing, not the final achievement. Yes, it has to be a system that makes you money. And yes, you know what? When you offer value on a consistent basis and you do money-making activities every single day in a system that works for you, that doesn't mean hanging out on Facebook all day, that doesn't mean proving your value in groups, that it doesn't mean that necessarily. If that's not what makes you happy, it just has to be money-making activities in a system that works, that you do every single day. That's what life is. We're 95% unconscious habit. So you just have to remember to have that be, I call it incremental laundry. Those things, it's a moving machine. Your life is moving. You know, it doesn't, it doesn't stop. Things just don't stop just because uh, you're having a bad day. And in fact, you know, when you're really inspired, you know that those bad days can be used to teach lessons, right? If your business is positioned correctly, your business is based on what you do best and what your life is. So I just want you to remember that. And I really felt like uh, I had to share this because it's something that when I, when I really cleared my head and reminded myself what makes me feel inspired, then I was just excited to share it. And I know that everybody has a money code. Everybody has a blueprint that you want for your success. And when you can understand that, and just understand that the secret to achieving it is to keep doing it. Keep doing it over and over and over again. Not wait for a response. Not wait for other people to approve. Not look for somebody else who is going to teach you something that you need to learn. Let's do some disbelieving. Some unlearning to really uncover who you really are. Write that manifesto. 
I greatly challenge you. You know, when I think about what I, what my manifesto is, you know, I believe in creativity, in feeling inspired, in feeling happy every day. Personally, I believe happiness is your ticket to success because when you're happy, your body, your literally biology produces endorphins. It makes you feel confident, positive. And when you're confident and positive, you don't have to do a positive affirmation to make you feel that way. You don't have to focus on, I don't feel good. Even when, you know, I've said I had a health, I have a health condition. When I focus on what makes me happy, you know what? Everybody has problems, but that's just not my focus because I know my goal every day is to be happy, to feel inspired and to be creative. And how, what I believe for my clients is that happiness is their answer. That when they understand the meaning behind their life story, why they had all those challenges, what things hold them back, I call them blocks. What are the things preventing these geniuses from getting their experience out there and getting paid for their work and for who they are? That makes me so happy. When my clients tell me that they get clients, that they just, they feel unlocked, that they, that they love what they do, I know I've done good work and that makes me successful. It's not some money gain that does that. It's helping people live better lives because you know, you don't realize it, but life is, is passing you by every single day. And sometimes I have to remind myself, uh, the mirror reminds me very often, <laughs> but, uh, you know, I want you to live your life now, to be happy now, to achieve your success now. And you can do that just by understanding how magical you really are. So I hope that that has helped you find some clarity. Uh, and I really challenge you to write that manifesto, write it below this video, uh, share this with somebody because I think that a lot of people need to, um, to be, do some disbelieving right now. And uh, I am actually having a uh, free class, uh, May 1st. Uh, it's gonna be called Master Your Money Code. So it's really about uncovering you, discovering your personal money code, and helping you uh, understand how to build your own path to success. So if you want to sign up, the link is uh, in the post and I'll see you guys soon. If you want to come join my group, the business luminaries, um, things are changing. So anyway, I'll see you guys later.